my darlings, I hope you're all doing very, very well. In today's video, I am doing a tattoo related gift guide. Now, I don't know about you, but buying for people for Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, whatever, I always struggle so hard as to what to buy people, especially as like everyone's getting older, like everyone seems to have what they want. So you end up resulting in buying socks or chocolate or something like that, like the generic gifts when you can't think of anything, which obviously that's there's nothing wrong with that. All right, I'm always appreciative of socks and chocolate, okay? But if you don't want to partake in the sock gift giving, I have compiled a list of things that you can get the people in your life that love tattoos, or if you're like me, you can just buy these things for yourself. You know, does anyone else do gift shopping and you're like, oh, that person will like that, that person will like that. Oh, do you know who will like that? Me, yeah, me. <laughs> so hopefully this video will be helpful in some way, shape or form. Obviously this doesn't have to be for Christmas. You know, this could be helpful for birthdays, anniversaries, Valentines. Okay, so the first one is probably very, very obvious. So I'm just gonna get that one out of the way, but you know, gonna put it out there but a lot of tattoo studios do gift vouchers, whether it is the actual tattoo studio itself or the artist within the tattoo studio. It depends, you know, it's either one or the other or both. <laughs> but if you know the person that you're getting a gift for has a tattoo coming up or they have a tattoo artist that they really, really want to go to, you can either simply message the tattoo artist and say, hey, is there any way I could buy a gift voucher off of you for my friend, partner, parents, family member, whoever. And you can also message a tattoo studio to ask the same question, just be like, hey, you know, I wanna buy a gift voucher. If this tattoo studio or tattoo artist is out of range, I'm sure if you ask very nicely and say, hey, like I'm out of town, um, but I would love to get a gift voucher from you for whoever. Is there any way if I give you an extra amount of money for postage, would you be able to post it? I'm sure that a lot of tattoo artists or people that work in these tattoo studios will be more than happy to do that. And it's a great way of contributing towards a tattoo, whether, you know, you get a 20 pound gift voucher or the amount of the tattoo that this person that you're gifting it to has told you how much this tattoo is gonna be, depending on your budget. Obviously everyone has budgets and all of that, but I know for a fact, I would be incredibly appreciative should someone give me a gift voucher for a tattoo that I've got coming up or a voucher from an artist that I admire. It's really cute, you could just put it in like a little envelope or in a little card, write a little message on it, you know, and it's quite a thoughtful gift as well. I know sometimes people are a bit iffy about gift vouchers, they can seem kind of impersonal, but I feel like with a tattoo gift voucher, it's quite personal, you know, like that's, uh, I've been thinking of you, I know you like this artist slash studio, here, let me help you pay for your next tattoo. The next gift idea I have for you is tattoo convention tickets. There are plenty of tattoo conventions in the world. If you want to go to one that's close to you, all you have to do is Google tattoo conventions near me and a list of all the websites will come up. And trust me, going to a tattoo convention is the best day out. You will have so much fun. You can buy like two tickets. So if it's for you and your best friend or you and your partner, you know, you can have a nice day out, make a day of it, you know, get some food, explore the town that the tattoo convention's in. If you want to splash some extra cash, you could potentially go to a different country or a different state to do this. So for example, in 2018, my best friend gifted me a trip to Brussels for the Brussels tattoo convention. I had the just the best time. It was such a thoughtful gift and it's one of my favourite trips of all time. I got tattooed there and everything. So yeah, like that's obviously a bit more on the higher budget range, but I thought I would throw that one out there for you. The next gift idea I have for you is obviously tattoo aftercare. <laughs> Who doesn't appreciate tattoo aftercare? Anyone that is a tattoo collector probably has, you know, an array of tattoo aftercare or, you know, one type of tattoo aftercare, but you can always add to their collection. And I'm so sure, you know, coming from a tattoo collector, this gift would be highly appreciated. Trust me. There is no such thing as having too much tattoo aftercare in this house, okay? Because me and my boyfriend Tom get tattooed a lot. So yeah, there's tattoo aftercare everywhere, okay? The brands that I can highly recommend is Hustle Butter, Yayo, Butterluck, Stories and in Ink. And if you know the person that you are buying for uses second skin, that would also be incredibly helpful. You can get these sort of personal rolls, 
or you know a big like professional role if this person that you're buying for gets tattooed a lot if you want to go that extra mile you can actually create a aftercare gift box so you can make it all pretty and sparkly or add like little decorations and bows and all of that and you can write little personal notes saying you've got this don't scratch your tattoos you could put in there sort of the cleaning soap the aftercare some moisturizer for when the tattoo is healed and they could put in maybe some little snacks and stuff like that just make a cute little aftercare box that would be such a personal and thoughtful gift as well you can also buy this massive gift set box from this brand stories and ink i have one myself it was gifted to me so i'm going to be completely transparent but i do highly recommend the products within this gift box whether you buy them you know standalone or as the gift set the gift set is beautifully presented all the boxes that the products come in have these beautiful works of art in there like the boxes themselves are a work of art it'll just be a bit quicker than making up your own little gift box wrap it and just be like hey here have this you know <laughs> like if you're not into making the whole gift box idea yourself but the products in there are catered towards tattooed skin and they all smell delicious scent is a big thing for me the scent isn't overpowering with them either but there's a nice like freshness to them it's just like oh yummy the next category i have for you is jewelry which might be like um okay that's not really tattoo related but there are some brands out there that do the most gorgeous jewelry whether it's rings earrings necklaces bracelets and they all have like this tattoo theme to them there's two brands that come to mind straight away that is the great frog london i have one ring from them oh my gosh i was so happy and excited when i brought this ring for myself because i had wanted a great frog london ring for the longest time they are on the more expensive side so the ring that i got was 150 pound but the quality of the jewelry is incredible and the detail of it and all the other jewelry that they have like honestly i would probably own everything they make <laughs> if i was a millionaire uh, the other brand that i can think of is bloody mary metal i again have two rings from them quality is absolutely amazing the next category i have for you is perfume and you're probably like what the hell Lauren? <laughs> how is perfume tattoo related well recently i reviewed this perfume that's meant to smell like when you go to a tattoo studio and you get tattooed i have a full video on that i'll leave a link down below if you want the full tea there's no point of me going into the full tea here there's no point in repeating myself but i recently reviewed this perfume from the brand room 1015 or room 1015 i still don't know which one it is to be honest with you but they have this perfume called atramental and it really does smell like when you get tattooed it's got that clean like disinfectant spray as the top notes and then it does dry down into this sort of smoky leather smell it does smell like a old school slash vintage tattoo studio it's really nice it is again quite expensive i brought the 10 mil little perfume bottle which i would probably say is a safe bet if you are blind buying for someone if you don't know the types of smells that the person you're buying for likes um but it could be just a fun gift to be like hey i've got this perfume for you i want you to smell it what does it remind you of and see if they guess it right i will say this perfume leads more onto the masculine side i love it i it's something i would wear because i do like those like leather smoky perfumes you know like i just it makes me feel comfortable but if you feel like there's someone in your life that might not like that it's probably not the best route to go but hey it could be a fun gift the next one is probably a bit of an obvious one as well and this is to buy artwork that is tattoo related oh my goodness there is so many talented artists out there my favorite place to get artwork is mainly etsy there'll be a lot of independent artists on etsy selling artwork and trust me when i say this you could probably find anything on etsy that is tattoo related when it comes to artwork like you could put in you know a film that you really really like and then put in tattoo print and i'm guaranteeing there'll be one or two at least on etsy so if the person you're buying for really loves a film or a band and they love tattoos as well see if you can find an art print that you know 
put all of that together and I'm sure they'll be incredibly appreciative of it because I know it's there's something about giving art that feels so personal you know it's just like oh that person really thought of me and they know that I will like this you can also have a look around on Instagram to see if any tattoo artists are selling prints or what have you if you want to be super sneaky what you can do is go onto the person's Instagram that you're buying for see what artists they follow and this sounds very stalkerish <laughs> yeah look through the artists that they follow and then click on you know their profiles and see if they're selling any artwork there's this brand called the gallery wall that do incredible sort of typography bits of art me and tom have quite a few dotted around the house the quality is amazing you just pop it in a frame and you're done that's another thing you could do to go the extra mile when you buy artwork for someone is to buy the frame for it instead of just you know giving it without the frame you could just get a very cheap you know black framed frame <laughs> and then if they don't like it or they want to change it it's not a big deal you can get really cheap frames from places like ikea ebay amazon you name it you'll probably find a cheap frame somewhere <laughs> there's also this instagram account that i follow i haven't bought anything from them but oh my gosh their work is incredible i just have to mention it and this is a different way of doing art. The Instagram account is Savannah Woodcuts. And basically they just get a bit of wood and they make artwork out of this wood. And it looks incredible. So I highly recommend checking them out as well to see if there's anything there that, you know, the person you're buying for would like. There's also quite a few people that do this type of thing on Etsy as well. I completely forgot to mention wall tattoos. I've had a couple myself. They're in storage, so I can't show you like on a camera or whatever but i have the sacred heart and the pumpkin which is behind my nails i'm not sure what they're made out of but they're like super solid and they come with a sticky bit that you can just stick these to the wall they do an array of designs the next category is pretty much the same as the one i've just mentioned but this is homeware you can buy tattoo related things on so many different websites when it comes to homeware you basically have to just put in cushion tattoo and you know a lot of cushions will come up that are tattoo related so i definitely recommend places like etsy there's also this brand called black and teeth who do sort of gothic inspired homeware which isn't really like tattoo related but oh my gosh the stuff that they do is incredible i've got a pair of crossbones that i brought from the bristol tattoo convention because they had a little booth there i'm not sure what it's made out of but it's solid it feels like a solid wood or I don't know what it's made from. <laughs> Could be resin. I don't know. So I highly recommend checking out the black and teeth. The next category I have here is books. Oh my goodness. Yes. Lauren recommending books. Oh my God. Has hell frozen over. <laughs> the first book I have for you was gifted to me. I want to be completely transparent. I have started reading it and it is incredible. It's called Painted People by Matt Lodder. It's basically a book documenting people throughout history who happen to have tattoos. It's incredibly interesting, and I know for a fact that this would make a good gift for anyone who loves tattoos and wants to learn more about tattoos or people who just like history. You know, you don't have to be a tattoo fan to enjoy this book. And what I've read of it so far is, oh, it's so interesting. The next book I also have, I bought this a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, I think it was. I don't actually have it with me. It's at my old house where my sister lives. So I don't have it to show you, unfortunately, but take my word for it. It is amazing. The book is called Bodies of Subversion, A Secret History of Women and Tattoos. This is a book that documents, you know, women within tattoo history. So you have tattoo artists back from many 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 years ago that were women it also talks about women that had tattoos many many years ago like 1920s and how they were perceived and you know what they did and all of that like it's very very interesting and then it kind of takes you from like that era to modern day and i definitely believe you don't have to be a woman to enjoy this book i mean I very much did enjoy it, but I feel like it could be appreciated by anyone. There are so many photos in the book as well and it's written beautifully as well. There's also this book that I haven't had myself, so I can't vouch and say if it's good or bad or whatever, but it intrigued me. I might just order it for myself, I don't know. But the book is called The Language of Tattoos and by the looks of things, it basically just says what tattoos mean. So, you know, for example, the common spider web elbow tattoo that normally means not so much nowadays but 
back in the olden days, that kind of just meant you were a criminal or what have you. And then it has the meanings of different flowers. If you're into that kind of thing, I know the majority of us just get you know, flower tattoos because we like the way they look, but some people will look into the meaning of flower tattoos. So this book could be incredibly interesting for tattoo collectors or, you know, you could just buy it for yourself if you're intrigued. <laughs> and the last one in the book category is tattoo colouring books. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like you're never too old for a colouring book. And there are tattoo related colouring books. You can find them again on Amazon. Etsy, there's quite a few independent artist slash sellers on Etsy that make tattoo colouring books themselves. You want to support a smaller artist, which is great for this season because not only do you get something hella cool, but you get to support someone, you know, that's living their dream, creating stuff and selling it. And of course, if you want to go that extra mile, you can get a couple of colouring books, put them in a box, put a couple of like pens in there, whether it's professional art pens or Sharpies, colouring pencils. They're not normally that expensive if you go on the sort of lower quality route. You know what I mean? Like you can just go to your local supermarket and get some pens. <laughs> Put it in a box. Maybe add some snacks as well if you want to be extra cute and a little note or something. The next category is temporary tattoos. This might be a bit of a weird one if you're buying for someone that is a tattoo lover. Because of course when you have normal tattoos, permanent tattoos, do you really want to be mixing fake ones with real ones? I don't know. But... The person you're buying for might be a little bit like me and just loves anything tattoo related and I love a temporary tattoo. I have experimented with them on my YouTube channel throughout the years. One of my favourite ones is Inkbox. They do the most incredible quality artwork within these temporary tattoos. They're a bit different than the regular transfer tattoos, you know, the ones that you just use a bit of water on and just peel it off and voila, there's a tattoo there. These ones are made with this special ink that develop over time and they last for about two weeks. You of course also can buy the traditional temporary tattoo. You can get custom ones on Etsy. So if you wanna get a joke temporary tattoo from Etsy, you know, you might have an inside joke with the person you're buying for or whatever. Etsy will definitely have something out there for you. And they also do beautiful temporary tattoos on there as well from again independent artists that have created them themselves and last but not least is clothing there are so many amazing tattoo inspired clothing brands around now way more than there was when I first started getting tattooed all those years ago but I used to look for tattoo inspired clothing a lot when I was younger and I never found anything I think the only thing that ever come up was Ed Hardy stuff when that was popular um and then that kind of just you know, disappeared for a bit. And now it's back again. <laughs> it's just all of a sudden everyone is into Ed Hardy stuff again. So that's definitely one that I can mention is Ed Hardy. Other brands that I really, really like is a brand called That Life. I have, I think, two t-shirts from them that I've bought and they're just very soft, comfortable, cozy, a lovely sort of oversized fit. I mean, I always buy my clothes one or two sizes bigger just so I get that big and baggy look. I do not like tight clothes at all. <laughs> it's very rare that I will wear something tight. But the designs on That Life clothing are great and again tattoo inspired. We have Day Dweller which again make incredible tattoo inspired clothing. I again have a couple of things from them myself. <laughs> I literally, all I wear basically is oversized tattoo inspired t-shirts. If you see me wearing a black t-shirt in a video, chances are that there's some print on the back of it. You never get to see them though, unfortunately, because most of the brands that I like, they always do the big print at the back. There's a brand called Take to the Grave, which I actually don't own anything from just because the shipping seems a little bit expensive. Well, it might have changed since the last time I tried to order from there. Um, but this brand is based in America, so if you are from the land of America, this brand will be amazing for you. They have, again, all items of clothing. They have, like, accessories and artwork as well, which are beautiful. That's what I was trying to buy. <laughs> and then I saw the ship into the UK, and I think it was, like, 40 quid. And I was just like, oh, oh, no. But that might have changed. I will investigate and add in a clip here to show the ship into the UK. There's this brand called P and Co, and oh my goodness, they do very nice clothing. They do sort of the plain kind of clothing, like jackets, jeans, like chinos, shorts, and all of that. 
but their t-shirts are incredible. They are what I would call a bougie tattoo inspired clothing range. They're mixed between like tattoo inspired and like vintage rock inspired. You know like Harley Davidson uh, t-shirts? Yeah, they're gorgeous. They are a little bit more expensive. I think like for a t-shirt it's like 40 quid. Another brand that is really good is Stay Cold. They commissioned tattoo artists or artists to do a lot of their t-shirts and some of them oh my gosh i'm like i want that one that one that one that one like my collection is growing i cannot like i need to stop <laughs> another brand is high dive they kind of have the same vibe as p and co but they're more leaning towards the tattoo side instead of like the bougie vintage kind of vibe but does that make any sense probably not another brand that i really really love oh my gosh i love this brand so much it is mary wire they don't exactly do tattoo inspired artwork clothing but their clothing is quite you know on the gothic side so they do a lot of like plain black stuff which is beautiful and then they do quite a few like t-shirts and hoodies that have either you know some script on there like embroidered i've got one and then on the back it has like this sacred heart situation or a heart with loads of like swords in it that is literally one of my favorite jumpers and i think they still sell that to be honest with you i think it's one of their like favorites it's always like sold out I also have this beret from them. I pretty much wear it all the time, especially when my hair needs washing. <laughs> it hides all of the sins, but their berets are amazing. And another brand I like is 13 Supply. Again, incredible clothing items, a nice variety of stuff. I also want to mention that the majority of these are sort of independent brands, you know, like they're run by a, a small amount of people. In fact, looking at my list, the majority of these um, are, you know, from small companies. They're not like huge, unless you obviously buy books or things from like, you know, Amazon or what have you. But even then the people that have created these are like small independent artists, writers and all of that. I truly believe in supporting people with smaller companies. Again, especially at this time of year, because you're getting a great item and you're supporting someone living their dream, creating things for their job. It's it's great. <laughs> okay, so that concludes my gift guide. I hope this has been helpful in some way. It's given you some ideas or it's just helped you think, oh, yeah, that seems like a cool brand or a cool item or a cool idea to give this person for Christmas or birthday or whatever. Because yeah, like I was saying, I struggle a lot. So I love videos like this. They are truly helpful. And I hope that you have found this helpful in some way. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you're all doing very well. And until my next one, bye.